getting ready to go out and spray paint these two houses black to make a cute DIY for Oh home. man, this has been a weird few months, I'll tell you, but nevertheless, holidays are coming and I plan on doing some videos. So what I'm gonna do along with spray painting that I've done and I don't know which you're gonna see first because I've done some videos that I'm editing. So this might be the first or the second as far as uh, the spray painting videos. But what I did is I got the Dollar Tree doll houses and I'm going to do the gingerbread but what I'm doing with these is I'm going to do the haunted house and I'm going to put a twist to it that I saw on Pinterest. So I'm going to go outside in this wonderful weather of ours that is just never ending like everyone else. It's so hot, so hot. But I'm going to go ahead and spray paint these black and I will be back once I'm done with that. I guess you're not going to see real well, but I am spray painting it. This spray paint isn't very good though, it's cheap. And it's almost kind of, I don't know, look, kind of falling away from the house, but I'm gonna go over it again. I'm sure it'll be fine once I go over it two or three times, but I would uh, either put a primer first on it or get a more expensive. Uh, so, if I had the time or wanted to spend more money, which I don't. I would have gotten a matte black, but that's here or there now. This is the way it's gonna be. And right now I'm just trying to paint anything that it might, the spray paint might have missed. And then we'll start putting things together. I might make a few little things to put around it. I bought a black plate from uh, Dollar Tree. I hate when I think, oh, I'll remember what I did with it. Oh, sure, I'll, I'll remember where I put it. I don't. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep painting this and when I'm done, I'll bring you with me when we start to put it together. Everybody, I'm back. I told you I would be. And what I'm doing is I painted, remember? I spray painted the little uh, Dollar Tree house. And then I took some precious metal. It's a, well, I'll show you. But anyway, I went ahead and I just dry brushed it onto this. I think you can see the difference, and I'm going to go ahead and do this one now with you guys. So i got to get my brush. And this is what I'm using. I don't know where I got it. I don't remember. But just put in precious metals, and it doesn't say who the maker is. It's a leafing. It's like gold leafing in a way, but it's liquid. And I'm putting this down, see that's what it looks like. Just gonna use very little. Go like getting that. something. So I'm taking most of the paint off. You want very little. You just wanna bring out the uh, detail a little more. Yeah, if I would have had silver, I would have preferred it, but it's not that big of a deal to me. See how it really brings out the detail? That's what I wanted. have the fan on because it's 95 degrees here. We just had an earthquake, 4.7, uh, about an hour, hour, hour and a half ago. And I felt it, I heard it, because sometimes you'll hear 
earthquakes. It's like a rumble. That's what this one sounded like. I'm using very, very little, but it's so hot that it's drying almost immediately when it hits the paper. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Okay. Now, I wanted to get orange lights to put in here. But I don't know that, I don't think I have any. So what I'm thinking, if I have any, uh, any orange, thinking if I have any orange tissue paper, I could put a little of that in the windows. I took one of the doors out because that's where I'm going to put the lights. I'll just put them all in here and then the pack can sit out from here and then we'll embellish I'll put it on the black plate I'm gonna glue this together I'll glue that together because this is going to be a candle holder and this candle I mean this candle this mirror I got from Dollar Tree and it had gold around. I didn't want the gold, so I painted it, but that's gonna sit on top. I'm not gonna glue this onto it because it'll be easier to uh, store away. So now I'm gonna get my glue, get whatever I want to embellish this with which I think I'm gonna use some stickers that I put onto some cardboard because they're really cool looking. And then I'll be back. So I have my glue gun heating up. And I'm also going to use some of this super glue from Dollar Tree. So I don't think I don't know. Kind of want to keep this together. Gracie, what are you growling at? I want to. Oh, I don't want that glue getting on there. Now, if I'm going to make a gingerbread house out of these, and what will be different about that is, see it just comes right undone, I'm going to have to use the hot glue too. Um, I can put for, uh, spackle, you know, like for icing, where this, I'm not, so you're seeing the gaps more. She's playing, you guys. If you hear her, she's in her playpen next to me. And she's playing. She's wanting to see Angie, but she just went and got her procedure done, and so I have to keep her where she's not playing much. You know what I mean? All right, let's try to... holding this until it's stuck together and then I'll be back. I'll bring you down so you can see everything because I know you can't see really exactly what I'm doing but I need it down like this. And then I got this necklace. I've had it forever. It's skulls and bones. 
don't know. No, I don't. Don't want to like that. Then I have. live and learn because I was going to use the tree, but the tree isn't going to work now. What I could do I probably will just leave it like this. What I could do is I could take a piece of poster board or a foam board, cut a square and put this on the poster board and then I could get those trees around it but that it's not that big of a deal to me so I'm not going to but I am going to take these little ghosts that I cut out from a rub-on from Dollar Tree and glue them by the window just want him like he's flying out of the window. I had a third one and I don't know what happened to it. I could have used one by the door, but oh well. And I said I wasn't going to glue this on, but I'm going to have to because I know that candle isn't going to, you know what? It's gonna have to stay there. I wasn't taking into consideration took the paint off but I can just repaint that with a little bit of black I'm trying to use as little of glue as I can poster board would be your way to go because this plate the way it comes up those trees aren't going to be able to stand but that's okay so I want to get well I can paint that after I just want to get this glued on All right, I'm gonna paint where the paint came off by taking the ghost off and then I'll be back with the candle and I'll show you what it looks like. I didn't want it on the plate at all. I didn't like it. So I'm just gonna use it as a candle holder like they had at um, Bath and Body. And it works out, this little uh, mirror works out perfect. It holds, you can see the three wick candle or it can hold a smaller one, whichever you want. And the lights in there, I'll show you at night what it looks like. And I like these two little ghosts. I think that really makes it. 
So yeah, that's what I would, uh, I wouldn't put it on anything else. I would use it just for a candle holder. So sometimes when you have something in your mind that you think you're gonna be doing, it goes in a completely different direction. And this sign I got also, I don't know if I told you from the Dollar Tree. So guys, I hope that you'll try this. I'm gonna do different ones for different holidays. I think they're really cute. They'd make an adorable gift. Until we get together again, remember, the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. There's only one you, and you bring something to this world nobody else can. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.